Hello, I'm Bernice German, the Math Whisperer. I have a very important message for you. You personally have it in your power to help 50,000 kids learn math. We all delegate. There is just too much to do to do it all ourselves. But what if the person you have delegated to did not do a good job? Well, that is what has happened to math education with the Common Core Standards. Fortunately, you do not need a PhD in math to see how flawed they are. There are over 40 million students in American public schools, and half of them are struggling in math. U.S. scores have been stagnant for over 30 years compared to our international competition. The achievement gaps between whites and blacks and whites and Hispanics is enormous and stagnant over 30 years. I have a solution that will raise the achievement of American students and close the achievement gap. I am now going to explain where the country went wrong. Let's go back to 1992. A multi-million dollar Department of Education study comparing how the U.S. teaches math compared to the more successful countries revealed that U.S. curriculum is a mile wide and an inch deep. Fast forward to 2010. In 2010, the Common Core Standards were released by a team of experts who had spent eight years trying to fix the mile wide, inch deep problem. The math education hierarchy thinks the Common Core solved the problem, but you don't need a PhD in math or education to realize that it hasn't. U.S. scores continue their mediocrity and are actually declining compared to countries like Singapore. Let's look at an example, that of fifth grade. There are 23 standards for fifth grade, and some of them have two parts. Here are the fifth grade standards. We're going to look at one typical standard. Actually, this is one half of one standard, so one forty-sixth of the fifth grade common core standards. I'm going to read it for you. Interpret the product A over B times Q as A parts of a partition of Q into B equal parts. Equivalently, as the result of a sequence of operations, A times Q divided by B. For example, use a visual fraction model to show 2 thirds times 4 equals 8 thirds and create a story context for this equation. Do the same with 2 thirds times 4 fifths equals 8 fifteenths. Finally, the guts of it. In general, A over B times C over D equals A times C over B times D. Have your eyes glazed over already? Not surprising. This is ridiculously complicated. Welcome to the kind of teaching that the Common Core has spawned. Considering that the school year is 185 days, which translates into about 150 hours of class time for 23 standards, there are fewer than 6 hours per standard. So multiplication of fractions is half of one standard and gets 3 hours of class time. This is not enough. Here's how we do it at Math Whisperer. We identified the critical building blocks for a solid foundation in math. Then we looked around the world for the best way to teach those critical building blocks. And guess what? 100 years of education research says we are doing things right at Math Whisperer. Plus, we collected data to measure the effectiveness of our approach in lessons and typically saw three grade levels of growth in six months. Back to our fifth grade example. The Common Core presents this ridiculously complex, abstract way to look at multiplication of fractions. Now I'm going to show you how we teach multiplication of fractions with the Math Whisperer program. Multiplication of fractions depends on two critical building blocks, concept of multiplication and concept of fraction. We'll begin with concept of multiplication. Multiplication means groups of. So 2 times 3 means 2 groups of 3. Here's one group of 3. 
Here's a second group of three, and the answer is six. So one half times one third must mean one half group of one third. That doesn't quite make sense, but this does. One half times one third means one half of one third. Well, let's see what that is. Now I'll refer to concept of fraction. With fractions, everything starts with what is one. So for this demonstration, I'm going to define this as one. So I'll find one third of it to begin with. Here's one third. Now I'll find one half of one third, which is this. And this is one sixth. Back to what is one. Exactly six of these cover the one, so the answer is one sixth. Now let's find the formula that gets us that result. We've seen that one half times one third equals one sixth. Now the general form for multiplying fractions, a over b times c over d equals what? Well, in our example, a is one, b is two. C is 1, and D is 3. And the only way to get the answer of 1 sixth is this way. A times C over B times D. And this is the general formula for multiplying fractions. And as you can see, this is not a meaningless formula, a rule that has to be memorized. It falls inevitably from concept of multiplication and concept of fraction. When all is said and done, students still need to be able to multiply fractions using this formula. Math Whisper lessons work this way. Our program begins with a state-of-the-art assessment for each student based on our critical building block methodology. The assessment takes five minutes. Each student then receives a customized program depending on what foundational gaps he or she has. Our proprietary system of workbooks and online lessons takes students through all sequential levels of understanding and execution. They are self-paced and are done independently at school or at home. Our results have been analyzed by a number of researchers, including the Graduate Department of Education at the University of Denver. Our methodology produced typical student growth of three full grade levels in only six months of use. Our goal is to supplement the grade level Common Core curriculum. Our first targets are fifth through 10th graders who are behind grade level or otherwise struggling in math. Their growth on state or nationally recognized assessments will be measured by an independent university department of education. Our country needs its students to have a solid foundation in math that they can use to graduate high school graduate college if that is their choice, and have any career they choose. My goal is to help students have math be their ally in leading the lives they want.